So Mike, with the rapid adoption of Teams as a workload, uh, I imagine that's causing some challenges in the world of M&A with the sheer volume of Teams and the content in Teams. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. So, I mean, even at Quadratech, we rely very heavily on Teams for our communications, and a lot of organizations have. And so a lot of people, when they think of doing a migration from one tenant to the other, the focus can be on just email or just OneDrive. But Teams has become a really cr critical piece of communication with a lot of business record data in it as well. So from a migration standpoint, we've seen email and Teams needing to migrate together um, as a core competency for a tenant to tenant migration. Shall we start by talking a little bit about the state of the Teams API and how it's changing? So the Teams API is, is really quite interesting because there's some really interesting features that Microsoft's releasing, but there's still some basics that are missing, and it's causing a lot of confusion in the market, particularly for organizations that go through merger, acquisition, and divestiture. So a lot of the features that we need in these APIs, as of February 2020, we still don't see these features to allow us to do a full compliant migration of Teams from one tenant to another. Perhaps you can expand on that and just talk a little bit about what our current capabilities are at Quadratech. So how we combat it is we have two options. So the API allows us to write to Teams channels, but we can't include metadata in it. So when we do a migration, it retains that date and timestamp of the actual migration. So Sunday morning, two in the morning, whatever it may be. What we do for to archive this data in a manner for a compliance purpose, so organizations that have to have that metadata, which is really important, we can actually put that into a chat file and put it into the file section so that the organization can keep that data. Sometimes, depending how users are using that channel, that date time data is actually really important for context later. In that file, we can also redirect uh, links to files. So if somebody puts a file into the chat, we can actually correct that link to the correct place in the target tenant. We can also stream into the chat section, uh, but unfortunately, there's no metadata. So it's mm -hmm. in the correct order, but everything's within you know, so many minutes during the migration and streaming that data in. Great, so two approaches for different use cases, I guess. Do you want to just talk about which approach fits which different kinds of use case? I think what's interesting is in some cases the answer is both. So you, we actually allow you to do both options. So the first option is for organizations where that date time information is really important, either from a compliance standpoint, so if you're a highly regulated entity and this data is a requirement to maintain, that certainly is a path you want to go in or if the users can use that file later. For organizations where that the uh, native search capabilities and the date timestamp may not be as important, that's where streaming it into the actual chat piece uh, in, in the channel can be effective. Or again, if you want the best of both where users can search but still have the compliant need, compliance needs, then that can work for you as well to use both at the same time. Okay, well there's some complexity there. So I imagine it's possible there could be some misconceptions out there in the, in the wild. Do you want to comment on those? Yeah, and at Quadratech, we really try to be open and honest, right? All vendors are in the same restrictions. You know, without APIs, we can't do a lot of the items that we would love to do, all of us, all the migration vendors would like to do. Mm -hmm. um, we're all in the same restrictions. Our approach is to be very straightforward on what we can and can't do in the space, and we're trying to pressure to get those APIs as soon as possible so that we can get our clients the best migration possible.